welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing uh, the power of makeup and why I love it and wear it. So let's go ahead and jump on into this video. So typically I use my P. Louise Base in Rumor to prime my eyelids, but for today I am going to go in with this hard candy glamouflage. that is nice and laid down I am going to go in with my eyeshadow palette today and I'm going to use the old one but this one is very very special to my heart this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette my husband stayed up 24 hours in line to get me this because this was all the rage when it first came out and I don't think I could ever part with this so I'm just going to do like a sweet everyday look while I talk to you guys uh, about the power of makeup and why I personally love to wear it uh, the power of makeup it can make a woman or a person feel absolutely gorgeous uh, it can make us more confident in ourselves and in our appearance um, which you know everybody needs a confident boost and if you can find that in makeup that is okay that is okay um, I personally love the creativity part of makeup. It doesn't matter what other people think of what your makeup looks like. If you think your makeup looks amazing, wear that look. Wear it. Because you should only be wearing makeup for yourself. Because we really, you know, honestly, we none of us needs it. None of us needs makeup. So I'm just taking several shades from this palette and doing a look with it. Um, it's not going to be anything too bold and too out there today because I'm just feeling something lot for this hot weather. Okay, I'm going to go in with this LA Colors Nude Palette and I am going to use this highlight shade right here and I'm going to use that for all over my lid. Okay, now that I have my lid shadow down, I am going to go in with a shadow back into this palette and darken up my outer V's with it because you know I can't do an eye look without doing something with my outer V. Okay, I am going to go in with this a CoverGirl Exhibitionist liner and do a wing. For eyelashes, I am going to go in with these Ioni eyelashes. I really like this uh, particular style. It is light. It is wispy. It is more of an everyday kind of lash. And this one's in the style Natural Light Doll. Okay, while I wait for the lash glue to dry on my other lash for my left eye, I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm going to use my Tried and True Elf luminous putty primer uh, I might pick me up some today if I can find it at Walgreens if not I'll just wait that primer goes with every foundation that I have in my collection it's definitely a staple primer I really like focusing my lashes on the outer parts of my eyes instead of bringing them all the way in and that's because I think it makes my eyes look bigger, more open, more wide because I do have kind of tiny eyes. They're not big but when I do my makeup with liner and lashes it tends to make my eyes look bigger and I'm all for that. Okay, today's foundation choice is this Revlon foundation. I think the key to foundation is if you have textured skin, such as large pores, acne scarring that is deep, that cause pitting, I believe, now this is just my opinion, uh, that more luminous and light coverage products looks better instead of matte full coverage. And I say this because of personal experience with makeup uh, and having textured skin. So what I do is I avoid powders on my face, again, because 
powder just makes textured skin look horrible in my opinion. Because makeup is just clothing for your face. Okay, for bronzer, I am just going to go in with a different shade of that Merit Beauty, the Minimalist stick here. And this one's in Tiger Eye. I, I recently got this one. And this is just my second time using it. But I do love the lighter version, as you just seen me use. So... my brows are looking a little bit so I'm gonna go in with my Ioni brow pencil it's pretty much the only one I use I will venture out a little bit from here to there with different brow pencils that are in my collection but for the most part this is the one that I stay with because it has that nice strawberry blonde undertone. For blush, I am going to go in with this Merit Beauty blush in the shade Beverly Hills. I adore this blush. It is so beautiful. The great thing about these Merit Beauty products, you guys, is they all work so well, not only together, but with other products. They're not going to disturb the products that you already have on your skin. And as you know, as I've already stated, I don't like using powder on my face anymore. For highlight, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Halo Glow Highlight in the color Champagne Campaign. I am not a huge fan of the packaging on this product. It is extremely, extremely messy. Very, very messy. Oh, look at that. It's, if you squeeze any out, it's just going to keep coming out and it's going to just end up like this. Look at that. Look at all that extra product that's there. I think e.l.f. needs to fix the packaging on this. And I'm not squeezing a lot out. I'm not squeezing a lot out. And look at it. It's so, here, it is so messy and it's all inside the cap. So, but what a waste. And if you don't want to waste it, it's going to be hard getting it out of there. Okay. It's going to be a lot. To finish this look off, I'm going to go in with this LA Colors lipstick. Okay. This is the finished look. If you guys like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Bye.